Hello guys, good evening to all. This is uh, Mike Padua and we are once again back to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, June 22nd to 24th. 2023 and this is our english version brought to you by typhoon 2000 in partnership with naga college foundation about this power bank of the philippine islands and avenue plaza hotel so uh, i hope every one of you is uh, in good shape and uh it's it right now across the philippine islands it remains quiet but there are still some the thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening, particularly over Visayas and Mindanao. And here's the uh, latest GovSat for today, Thursday, until uh, tomorrow, Friday. And uh, there's a uh, weak low pressure system or shallow that uh, developed within the uh, uh, monsoon trough. This is 92W for the past 24 hours. It's still there, but uh, very disorganized. And it's likely to weaken within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So it could bring some rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and through the evening. But uh, these are mostly isolated to scattered. And there are some uh, which is now uh, moving into the southern portions of the Bicol region. So uh, the risk of flooding and landslides brought about by these weather systems it will be low to medium so please take all nice precautions especially when you encounter this kind of uh, thunderstorm activity particularly the, over there in particularly over Mayan volcano along the slopes uh, as we know there, there's an ongoing uh, uh, mild eruption and let's hope and pray that uh, everyone will be safe down there and uh, watch out for possible uh, mud flows and uh, lahars if ever there's a uh, severe thunderstorm occurring in your area in the coming days weeks and uh, into the next uh, uh, months ahead okay and uh, uh, still it's the same situation across micronesia no other lpa is forming i disease here of uh, eastern Micronesia and Marshall Islands and a uh, frontal uh, system over to the north of the Philippine Islands from southern China over to the southern islands of Japan and uh, along mainland uh, Japan particularly the uh, eastern and uh, northern sections where the major front is extending up there and if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, so there you go. These are mostly cloudiness generated by the uh, monsoon trough. And if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, this is the uh, blue image as uh, so it is now evening. And if we take a look at the night vision image, so these are the uh, uh, cloudiness that could generate some showers or possible thunderstorms over portions of the Bicol region. And uh, there are some thunderstorms which is beginning to uh, weaken as of this time, late in the evening. And some of them are also exiting the uh, West Philippine Sea. And uh, let's take a look at the wind and pressure forecast from the European model for the next 24 hours. Tomorrow afternoon, Friday, there will be another low pressure area that could develop near Palau. Uh, within that uh, long line of the monsoon trough and Saturday afternoon that LPA will move closer towards the coastal waters of eastern Samar it's currently and is it is forecast to be here within the Philippine Sea and on Sunday June 25 that LPA will be over the coastal waters of eastern Samar as it moves closer to the Bicol region so we expect some rain showers and thunderstorms to become more frequent during the weekend particularly on Sunday and on Monday June 26 that LPA will remain there and uh, will remain over to the east of uh, that LPA will now be uh, to the east will now be located to the east of uh, Bicol region and on uh, June 27 
it will pass very close to the northeast of Bicol region. So there could be some rain showers here based on the uh, forecast model of the uh, European uh, of the ECMWF. Now, if we take a look at the American model, it's a different uh, take on the forecast on Monday, uh, June 26. There will be two LPAs here, one near Guam and one to the north of Palau, June 27. It could become an active low pressure area, but uh, most of this LPA is away from the Philippine Islands, so that's good news. Okay, and uh, if we take a look at the rain forecast from the European model for the next uh, three days and by tomorrow afternoon we could expect some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in most parts of the country except for the uh, eastern except for Cagayan Valley and uh, uh, Luzon and other parts of Luzon will, where low chances of uh, thunderstorms will be expected On Saturday afternoon, uh, we expect more thunderstorms to uh, occur in most parts of the country. And here comes the uh, uh, next LPA to the east of Eastern Samar. And on Sunday, June 25th, okay, the LPA will be uh, moving closer to the coastal waters of Eastern Samar. And we expect uh, more thunderstorms over Bicol, Eastern Visa. Be called Visayas Mindanao as well because of the south southwesterly wind flow and also across various sections of Luzon, particularly the Ilocos region and the western sections of uh, central Luzon. Okay, so that's the uh, rain forecast. If we take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until uh, Saturday, we expect the uh, rain back. We expect these thunderstorms to occur throughout the country. You can see clearly see it here. And uh, it will be more frequent along the eastern coastal waters of our country because of that possible shallow LPA that might develop in the next uh, couple of days. Now, let's take a look at the latest one from the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks. This variability, particularly the two, particular, this uh, two week uh, forecast, particularly the three week forecast is currently low in uh, variability and high in uncertainty, while the week two is around 50%. So, it could push through or not. Now, if we take a look at the uh, latest one, this is June 28 to July 4. We expect more than 20% probability of a tropical cyclone formation over extreme northern Luzon and the uh, northern portions of the West Philippine Sea, North Philippine Sea as well. So, uh, this is good news because the last week this forecast shows. Uh, a high probability here of a vehicle and um, Visayas, but it's shifted over to the north. While over the southern tip of Mindanao, they will be having some more than 50% uh, of above average rainfall. The rest of the country will remain normal, neutral. And weekly valid July 5 to 11, more than 50% of below average rainfall over central and northern Luzon, while the rest will remain neutral or fair based on this three-week forecast. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's the latest from the Climate Prediction Center. And with that, I end now this update. And we will see you in the next couple of days. Give you more updates probably on Saturday. I'll be giving you another update to the weekend on uh, what will be the scenario of LPA 92W or there might be another one forming to the east of the Mindanao so stay tuned for that but most of these models doesn't show a strong typhoon or whatsoever that could bring uh, bad weather to our country uh, the possibility remains at a low pressure level okay it's it's only low pressure area based on the forecast from these various reliable models 
And so there we go. Uh, we'll see you this uh, weekend. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good night to all. Uh, stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel.